Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Stargirl. So they released a newer Stargirl trailer that I haven't gone over yet on this channel. So let's watch the trailer, then we'll break it down. Hey, have a super great day. I know this has been difficult. The move and a new stepfather, but we're gonna make a good life. What is this thing? It's called the Cosmic Staff. <laughs> the staff's not supposed to work for anyone except Starman. Starman? I was Starman's sidekick. The Justice Society of America died saving the world. Someone must carry the torch. This is our destiny. Yes. Cool. Who are you? I'm Stargirl. Stargirl, new series coming spring 2020 on the CW. So, wow, that's a trailer that definitely gets me more excited for the show. I'm definitely looking forward to it quite a bit. Uh, but Stargirl actually did get its release date, uh, well, released. We know when it's coming out. So, it'll premiere, so the first time it'll ever be seen is on May 11th on DC Universe. So, if you have the streaming service, you're in America, you can watch it then. And then the day after, on May the 12th, on the CW, it will premiere there. Now, it's being advertised as a CW show. I'm assuming that's just based off the fact that most of the people that will watch the show We'll watch it through the CW or the CW streaming service. I'm assuming that's why they're advertising that, because that will be its biggest viewer base, but it will premiere on DC Universe because it was originally intended to be a DC Universe show. Now, in regards to when I'll release videos on it, I think I'll probably do it in regards to its DC Universe release thing, um, but it'll just matter on scheduling and stuff like that. So we'll wait and see what happens there. But I mean, yeah, throughout the video, guys, it would be awesome if you could let me know all of your opinions in the comments section down below in regards to what you thought of this trailer. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much you're looking forward to this show? Do you have any theories about the show? Anything like that? Let me know all of that in the comments section down below. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and you're just looking forward to Stargirl as a show in general, why not drop a like on the video to show you support and, I guess, excitement and hype. So we do start off the trailer by seeing a bit more of, like, Courtney Whitmore getting used to and, I guess, just fitting into her new life in her new hometown of uh, Blue Valley, as well as her, well, new school of Blue Valley High School. I think it's just called, I was going to say Blue Valley High, we'll just call it Blue Valley High, you know, take four words down to three. Now, I don't think getting dropped off in a sort of like embarrassing way by her stepfather, that of course being Pat Dugan, uh, will help with that all that much. But of course, their relationship will grow and maybe come a, li a, a little bit, a little bit less uh, angsty, if you want to call it, as the season goes on. Now, we do, of course, see Courtney finding the Cosmic Staff like we had seen in the previous trailer. Um, obviously, there is debate about whether, like, the Cosmic Staff is, like, all of the power source or whether the belt will do something. Because in the comics, if I'm remembering, uh, yes, it is. Yeah, In the comics, the belt is what Courtney finds first, which then leads her to the Cosmic Staff. But it seems like in the show, she'll just find the Cosmic Staff. And, like, the Cosmic Staff will almost, like, draw her in. And that's where all the powers will come from. I'm, I'm interested to see what they do, because in the comics, it's a bit of both. The belt gives you some stuff, the staff gives you some, some other stuff. So it's like, both of them do some stuff, but they might just make it that the Cosmic Staff is the only thing that gives us abilities. So we'll have to wait and see, but I'm curious. But this time around, with her getting the staff out of the box, um, we do get to see a little bit of it in action, or more of it in action, and her first time using it, which involves some, like, flying and stuff like that. Uh, the VFX look good, uh, whether it lasts the entire show, that's the big question, whether they show us a lot of the cosmic stuff in, say, this episode, but then there's, like, a, like, half, in, like, half of the episodes in the first season, she doesn't use the staff at all, or it doesn't power up, it's just her holding it, so... I have to wait and see what they do with in regards to how much of the VFX they use, but in regards to when they do use it, it does look good. Now, we do see Starman as well as Dr. Knight of the Justice Society of America being taken out by the Injustice Society, and later on, it looks like it looks to be Solomon Grundy in particular as well. Now, I am intrigued to see um, how much of the Justice Society is used throughout the show, because obviously, like, the show is going to be, like, Stargirl, and, like, I guess the introduction of a new age of the JSA, so I'm intrigued to see how much of the old version we get to see. But I think there's been like set photos from like later in the season, which show some of the older members. So either they are alive in secret or we do get more flashbacks. I wouldn't be surprised if we find out that like half of the old JSA is still alive and they didn't die. And it's just a couple of members that did die. Um, but hopefully we get some like uh, decent amount of them, whether it is flashbacks or some of them survive. 
I'm intrigued. Now in regards to the JSA in particular, we do get to see a picture of like almost like a classic take on the old JSA pictures from the comics and certain artwork and stuff like that. Now in this iteration, the Justice Society member, uh, Justice Society of America, sorry, uh, the members we have are Wildcat, Hourman, Sandman, Starman, Dr. Midnight, Jay Garrick or The Flash, Hawkman and Hawk Girl, Dr. Fate, what looks to be Johnny Thunder and Thunderbolt, like that's definitely Thunderbolt on the right there, so I'd have to assume that's the show's take on Johnny Thunder on the left there, so on the far left you can see a guy in like a tuxedo, but then you can sort of see like pink energy go, and then like it goes around the rest of the people, and then Thunderbolt's on the right hand side, so that's cool, hopefully you get to see Thunderbolt in like a decent uh, way, if, it, if you know, if he is going to be in the show a decent amount. But that's just really cool. I wasn't expecting Thunderbolt to be in the show. But the fact that Thunderbolt's in the show makes you wonder whether Jakeem Thunder, or just Jakeem, I'll just say Jakeem, will show up. Um, if Jay Garrick's alive, then maybe they can make it. Because in the in the comics, it's like Jay Garrick leads to Jakeem sort of getting... Like, Thunderbolt's a genie, if you didn't know. So Thunderbolt's is like this genie from another dimension. Um, so, and Jay Garrick's sort of like responsible for Jakeem getting the genie. So... I wonder if they'll tie it into the show or maybe another Justice Society of America member will lead to that. I want him to be in the show now because also he's a younger character. So it would fit into the whole, you know, Stargirl sort of aspect of the JSA. So hopefully we get to see that. And I think that last remaining member, I think, I'm not 100% sure, is Alan Scott, aka Green Lantern. I can't be 100% sure though, as the lighting in the image isn't amazing, but he's got a mask, sort of like a cloak sort of thing. So I would say it's... Alan Scott, he sort of seems to have blonde hair. It's just that you can't really see like the lantern symbol or like a, a uh, noticeable green ring. So I'm going to say it's Alan Scott just because it's a JSA and it'd be weird if he wasn't in it. If a Jay Garrick's going to be there, you'd have Alan Scott as well. So let's just say it's Alan Scott because I'm pretty sure it's him, but I'm not 100% sure. Now we do get to see um, Courtney get her suit as well as Pat Dugan open up and I guess sort of use... Uh, his big armored suit known as Stripe or S-T-R-I-P-E or Special Tactics Robotic Integrated Power Enhancer. I well, know, how are we going to word it? We'll just call it Stripe, I guess. <laughs> we'll just say Stripes, you know, because we've got Stars and Stripes, Stargirl and Stripe. Uh, once again, the use of Stripe sort of goes along with, I guess, like the VFX with the Cosmic Staff. How much will we see Stripe used in the show? Um, especially if the show is more about Stargirl and her getting this like younger group of heroes going in uh, the modern uh, in the modern day. I'd say that Stripe will be used very sparingly and only when he needs to be. Maybe like when Pat Dugan feels like he needs to protect Courtney and stuff like that. So we'll see him early on, but then maybe in the middle portion, Pat Dugan will fall more into that just supportive role as just himself outside of the suit. So... It looks cool though. Um, like you can obviously tell it's VFX, but it's a TV show. It's going to be really hard to make it look even like slightly, be or like overly believable. Um, so yeah, I think it looks good. Now the Injustice Society members, this is our first good look at a, a good bunch of them. Um, we'd seen Brainwave in a previous trailer and I think we saw a hint at, I think it was Sportsmaster. I think it was in a previous trailer, but we get to see them uh, lined up, you know, in this uh, in this uh, trailer. Now, they mainly seem to be at the base of the JSA. So, this means that we should get, be getting, like, a cool action sequence in, I'd say, like, the opening five to ten minutes of this pilot episode where it's the JSA, or at least most of the JSA, versing the Injustice Society. So, I'm extremely excited to see that go down. Um, I wasn't really expecting to get that in the first episode. I thought they might leave that to a bit. But it seems like we're going to get that in the pilot episodes. That gets, that gets me pretty damn excited. But we do get to see Tigress, um, Sportsmaster, Brainwave, Icicle, Solomon Grundy in the background. So that was him running through the forest before. And he's freaking huge. It looks sort of ridiculously huge, but amazingly huge. Like very comically huge, if that makes sense. So I'm excited to see how big he is and just how he looks in general. And we also have um, Dragon King. Um, separate from these, we just see like, I think it's actually inside the base while the other people were outside of it. So all the other members of the Injustice Society were outside of that base. So we see him inside of it. Um, excited to see how they go. If you didn't know, like certain children of the Injustice Society will be in the show as well. Um, and I'm, I think they go to Courtney's high school. So it's going to be convenient in that regards. Um, I think some of them might, maybe not all of them, but I think some of them. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how all this goes. Um, because it's just classic comics, and I love the classic comics, and I love the JSA, so in turn, I love the Injustice Society as well. And the trailer does finish off with Stargirl taking on Brainwave, just some of her moves, him asking who she is, she, her going, I'm Stargirl, um, and yeah, so they didn't want to show us too much of that fight, because I think that's going to be the, the climactic fight at the end of the pilot episode. In regards to expectations for the show, um, if you've been like listening to me talk about 
the Stargirl in various videos. I'm excited for it. Um, I'm a big fan of Stargirl and just the JSA in general from the comics. And I am hopeful that it does respect the JSA as a group and is more about continuing on the legacy rather than being like, oh, look, we're the younger, fresher, and better take. So we're better. Hopefully it doesn't do that. And I don't think it will. Uh, Jeff Johns being in charge of this thing and more importantly, his connection to, you know, to the Stargirl character in general because of his sister gives me a lot of security i guess you could say around this show and with the show and it being good so i'm looking forward to it um i'm not, I'm not sure how many episodes i'm guessing it has like a typical dc universe length of 10 to 13 episodes um so that's a good length i'm excited to see how the show goes and what it sets up going forward in the future but um yeah can't wait for it comes out in the may 11th may 11th on dc universe and may 12th on the cw as i said before so be sure to check it out when it comes out but um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over in this trailer breakdown. Are you looking forward to the show? What catches your eye? Did I miss out on anything important? Let me know all of that in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.